The exciting thing about genome technology and genome sequencing is that you can look across all 20,000 genes in one go. That's what a genome is. Your genes can tell you about your past, your present, your future, medical health. There's all sorts of information in there from, I don't know, how you metabolise fat through to what levels of your cholesterol are likely to be over your lifetime through to whether you're likely to develop serious life-threatening conditions. All that information is contained in your genes, as well as other things like your ancestry data. One of the great things about working here at the Sanger Institute is the fact that we are a very large sequencing facility. We have uh, over 25 sequencing instruments here, which makes us the largest facility in Europe. And that allows us to do some really big science and take part in some very large sequencing projects. The original Human Genome Project, which took 10 years to complete, was a large international collaborative effort. The Sanger contribution was about one third of the original Human Genome Project. I did a calculation about a year ago and I worked out based on our original technology that it would take the original six instruments we had it would take them 64 years to produce the same amount of data as one lane on one of these instruments can produce in one hour. Genome sequencing is going to be in the clinic imminently, so within the next year, uh, if you go and see your health professional in the NHS, you probably will engage with genome sequencing. Your genes are very interesting because they're shared amongst your family, so if you have a gene test for something, that could also be offering information about your parents, about your children, about your siblings. Um, and they may want to know that information or they may not. And it's possible in a single saliva sample or even a blood test to look at all 20,000 genes in one go. And obviously that's very exciting, but also there's an awful lot of information in there. And there may be information in there that people don't want to know. So we're exploring all these ethical issues raised by genomics in our uh, survey which is an online survey found at genomeethics.org and people are asked to share their thoughts about you know, what information they'd want to know from their genes, would they want to know about serious life-threatening conditions that they can't do anything about, would they want to know about conditions that they can do something about. So it's a really exciting project that will have a direct impact on uh, what happens with genomics in the health service.